Joining us now on the Pat Fitzgerald Show, cornerback for the Wildcats, co-captain number 26, a four-year starter for the Cats, Jordan Maben. And uh, Jordan, I mentioned that, but boy, your career, even though you guys still have some football to play mm -hmm. this year, your career is starting to come towards an end. How do you look back on the last four years and what you've accomplished at Northwestern? Oh, I was, I've been truly blessed, uh, given the opportunity to play as early as my redshirt freshman year and up until this day. So I, I've been truly blessed. It's been fun. Um, there's been ups and downs. It's been hard. Uh, everything hasn't been perfect, but um, it's, it's been a lot of fun. We've been to three bowl games since I've been here. So um, I couldn't ask for anything else, anything different. It's everything I've expected it to be. I mentioned you're a captain. Uh, what did that mean to you to be selected by your peers? Oh, man, it just knows I, I it showed me that I got respect on the team from a lot of my teammates. Um, when they voted me captain, I, I felt the great honor um, just knowing the captains that have been here in the past at Northwestern and knowing that the, the team trusted me that much to vote me in that position. Um, it was great. And um, I know the other three captains were voted in captains. They're great leaders as well. So um, just the leadership role that they put us in, um, it, it's been fun. And, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't change it. Let's talk about the defense this year. It's been a challenge for you. You've had some young guys back there. How much of a, a role kind of mentoring some of those guys have you had to take on you and Brian Peters? Oh, definitely. I just know when, when I was my early on in my career, a lot of the guys mentored me and, you know, gave me little tidbits here and there. Um, so that's all I try to pretty much do on a daily basis, just try to help the younger guys. And I know in the other cornerback position, there's, they're there for the first time playing on, out, out there. So just trying to help them out, try to slow the game down for them a little bit because, you know, when you get out there for the first time, it feels like the game's going real fast. So just try to calm them down on the sidelines after each series, ask them what they saw, um, tell them what I've seen, um, and just try to give them uh, tidbits to, and to help them out. Um, and it, those kind of things help uh, throughout the way just because I know if you have someone there that's going through the same thing you're going through and just communicating and, and being able to verbalize it helps a lot. There's one play i got to ask you about. It was in the Ticket City Bowl last year, mm -hmm. and uh, things were looking kind of bleak, and you come up with a big pick yeah. six. Is that kind of the highlight for you as you look back? Oh, definitely, definitely. That game was uh, that game was out of control. I mean, to get that interception at that time to bring us in within seven points, I think it was, it was mm -hmm. real close. Yep. Um, yeah, it was awesome. It was an awesome feeling. And then, then when I actually scored, um, had the ball in my hands, it felt like high school from when I, my running back <laughs> day. So uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, but that being said, there was a lot of fun games throughout my whole career. A couple of Wisconsin games were always fun. The Iowa games were always fun. So there's a lot of games that stick out in my mind as you know big moments. And hopefully you got a few more still ahead of you this exactly. year. Jordan, thanks for being with us Thank this you. week. Thank you.